I did it again, my friends. I signed another player. Welcome in, everyone. It's episode 37. Is this the end of the journeyman? I need your feedback. That is the number one thing I need out of you based on this episode. My thinking is this isn't the last episode. We would do a review episode um, just like we did last last year in terms of looking at the clubs we played at and the players and all that kind of stuff. But my, my, my thoughts are it's kind of time. Here's why. This has been going on. I don't know how many episodes. We've had six clubs with approximately 30 episodes on average at the clubs. That might be a little high. Maybe 20. But over 100 episodes at the ver the various clubs, right? If you look at my profile, right? Let's go back and remember where we've been. Okay, so TPS, start, TBFCS run, which was, you know, I guess two seasons, but maybe not 20 episodes, maybe 10, I don't know. Eskilstuna, which was short-lived, and then you, Gordon. So I, I, I think there's at least 100 episodes. You know what I should do? I should just look at... Um, you know, look at my channel and, uh, it'll show how many are in the playlist. You know, that might be an idea, but a ton of episodes. Anyway, you cut it. And it's kind of the dog days of summer in terms of football manager, right? 178 videos. I was almost right on with 30 per club. Okay. Um, it's the dog days of summer. It's the dog days of football manager. Things are slowing down. You know, we're getting about... To start, about 100 views on every episode, but I definitely think there is some more interest if we can launch a new series or two to get everybody who, hey, I stopped watching in the fourth club because life came up and then I couldn't catch up. And, like, I totally get that. Like, I've done that. I watch Loki Doki, but I haven't watched Loki Doki recently because of that. It was just, I've been busy doing this and I fell behind, so I don't have the whole, you know, history. So... That's what I'm thinking is, not that it's gotten stale, like I'm having a lot of fun with you, Gordons. I may actually keep playing it on my own if I've got time, but that's kind of where my head's at. We have an undefeated season. We got to the Champions League group stage. We're in the Champions League next season. I think it would be, like, if this were actually me and they offered me a ridiculously low contract, I think it'd be a good time to be like, I'm out. We'll see y'all later. That's just where my head's at. But I want to know from you if you agree with that. Um, the other thing I want to know from you, and I think I talked about this in the last episode, but I've been talking about it in my Discord too, so I'm not sure when I did that, is maybe having a goal for number of patrons, kind of like Twitch um, uh, streamers. I was going to say presenters. <laughs> I guess it's presenting. Um, Twitch streamers do, you know, hey, I'm trying to get to 100 subs, or I'm headed, trying to get to 10 subs, or, or whatever. I don't want to, I don't want that to be annoying, but like if I had something pop up, you know, at the top of the screen every once in a while, it's like, Hey, we're trying to get to X number of patrons and like, here's where we're at right now. If that would be annoying or if you would understand as I'm trying to grow our community here. Um, cause right now we're at 20 and it's awesome, but like, can we get to 25? Can we get to 30? I'd have to figure out when I want that to be. Okay. All that to say, we've got two games left at, at the very least, we're going to see out the champions league. Um, and if I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm not thinking we're going to get out of the group, right? We're on two points. There's two games left. We win those. We're on eight points. We would need some results to go our way, and we have to play the top two teams. So, but if we do, I'm not saying that would be the end. Like, we would see this out, but that's just where my head's at from, from, from that standpoint. So, a couple things. Transfers. Okay, so I told you about Castle Line and, and okay, yep, 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 yep. We have signed Tony Skorup. I think I showed you Langa. Langa is the advanced forward 19-year-old South African. Tony Skorup is a 19-year-old Croatian. Three and a half star current ability, five star, four to five star potential ability. Look at him! Perfect! Like, that is a Vukovic replacement to go with Roberto. Like, it's almost like the, the, it, you know how it says when you sign somebody that the fans are excited and whatever, and then, but they also noted, like, seem to be too many strikers. <laughs> it's kind of like, 
Yeah. So we got Roberto score up Vugujevic Langa. Mitinen. Um Ilolson, who now we could loan out next season, and he's Brazilian, so that would be good from a needing homegrown nation, because none of these other ones are homegrown nation either. Um We've got uh, uh, Lapalainen. I don't, did I load? Did I load him out? Nope, I didn't. I was like, where did he go? I, I don't know where he's at uh, on our squad list. But I mean, woo! I mean, it's it's brought his potential ability down just because in comparison. Although I mean, again, he was quite good, quite good. Sixteen total appearances, ten of those subs, eleven goals last season. I mean, that's good, right? Like, I, it's not that he's bad. It's just. But he is Swedish, so that is a problem in terms of trying to juggle this. But if you look at the report now, right, in terms of strikers, Roberto Skora, Vukovic, Langa, Mietzenen, Olsson, Eriksson, who's our attacking midfielder, and Lapalainen. So he probably needs to go out on loan to, to get him some game time. But, you know, none of these, until you get to Mietzenen, are homegrown nation. So that, that's a bit of a problem. If if you could juggle it the you know with the rest of the roster that would be fine, um, but they were just they were too good, they were too good to pass up. We've 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 grown Roberto quite. I mean I'm I'm super thrilled that we've been able to develop him. We found Tony Scorup and I mean we paid six twenty five. He was making I want to say one of these guys it may have been him was making six euro a week. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I can't remember, maybe, maybe it was, no, he, mm, I can't remember, but we've got, we've got some talent in the strike department, my friends. Um, so that's the transfers. We loaned some players out, whatever. Uh, we're at 34 million in the bank. Um, we got 21 million in the transfer budget. I did ask for a new stadium or, or ground or whatever. And they were like, no. And I was like, that's really disappointing that you're not being ambitious. They're like, you can say whatever you want. We're not building a new stadium. And I'm like, oh, like we got, how much does the stadium cost? We got 35 million. Surely you could spend 20 million, right? And we've already got, I don't, I don't see us needing a ton of transfers next season, right? Like we got a really solid team. If you look at the team depth chart, we, look at this. Erickson, Matson can cover the, this. Vukovic could play there. Um, Hassan has really come through. I'm afraid we're going to lose Hassan. He, I, he, he did get that new contract in place and we put it at 7 million Euro clause because it was in the middle of the season, but it didn't go effective until the end of the season. And Horona is sniffing around and offering like five ish, maybe six ish, which you could argue is a good deal, but he's played well. And like, you know, we had our bumps in the road. He wasn't happy when I first came in, but now he's like, we're good. We got Curtis Hall, Castrati, Ing, Runstrom. We're a little light in the midfield, maybe, but Klein, Dreesen. We're not lighting them midfield. It's just rating them differently, I guess. Brandstrom, so we're good there. You got Krastrev and Makura on the left. Vaka, Runstrom, Garinser, Kl and Klein can play there. Tobias and maybe keeping around because he's Swedish. Yulali, Vaka can play on the right as well. Um, Hugo Janssen is there. So, like, we got a really solid team if we can balance out the nine homegrown players. Anyway, I'm rambling. I wanted to show you this as well. As a way to generate some extra cash, um, or really just to, to to get the most value out of a transfer as you could. So, um, we sold uh, Josino or Josino Bandiera to Nautico Capabari Bay, and they were going to pay us 15,000 euros. I don't know why it's 15.48. Maybe that's a weird thing with what they offered us. If he got to, I think it was 50 appearances or something like that. Yeah, because he said 20 appearances. So it was 50 more, but he's only had 19. And he's on a 627. I'm thinking he's not going to get to 50 with the club. And so this this is minor, but like as a gameplay thing, you could you could sell that clause. Say, hey, hey, you want to just you know, pay, pay us 12 grand right now? And they're like, sure. So like, I mean, 12, hey, this is small scale, but like you're losing... 20% of it, but your 20% when you're not sure if he's going to get 250, I think is a good value. This is a bigger one with Eslin. Salzburg, same thing. Um, if he, if he made another 41 appearances and we sold it, I know it was summer, but he's only made two starts 
And he's had seven subs. He's on a 699. Not that that's terrible, but like that's not on track to being a starter, right? At 32 to getting to 50 appearances. He's got 41 more to go. I think taking 396 when they owed us 532 is a good deal. Like, so if you don't know how to do that, because I kind of looked around, I, I have not done this extensively. It's under clauses in the transfer thing. And then you look uh, <clears throat> where it has a, a whatever your currency is, euro symbol in this case. Like I could buy the clause. Like we could go ahead and pay Malmo 385K instead of 500K if he makes another 33 appearances. I think he'll get there. But again, I don't know if I'm going to be here and have to worry about it. So that's that's another way. You can actually reduce the cost, you know, of the clause and save yourself 115,000 euros by going ahead and saying like, hey, we're going to play him 50 eventually. Go ahead and sell him. So it, it just gives you options there. Kieta, same thing. We'll be doing 1.5 million. If he gets 36 more appearances, the fact that they've got him on a rotation contract and they've only played him 12 times leads me to believe they're not going to do that. Like it's a risk to go to get the 36. So is it worth taking whatever 70% of 1.5 million? I think it is. So I'm going to, I left this up here so I could show you and we still, if they sell him on, we'll have, but there's other things that we can get from a profit standpoint, but I think, yeah, let's go ahead. You give us 1.13 million instead of 1.5 because I'm not sure he's going to get there and they may sell him on. And if, if they do, we, we still have the installment money and we got the 20% profit. So there's ways that you can, you can kind of do this. I think Runstrom, they're going to, we owe them 600 K after 17 league appearances. He is going to get there. Like he's quite good and he's one for the future. So that's something where we could take the money we just got from the Kieta sell sale and save ourselves 200 grand right um oh that's league goals never mind so i can't do it for the appearance money so don't do that because he's not gonna score he's not gonna score 50 league goals that he could i guess but not with me there so i just i wanted to point that out that's a gameplay thing that i have not done extensively i've not shown it before so i want to want to show that to you oh we've gone 12 minutes it's 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 going to be a long episode today, my friends. Thanks for sticking around. Let's go play Leverkusen. It's tomorrow, so I'll be right back. All right, my friends. This is how we're lining up. Whatever this is. The 3-5-2 with a DM. We got Brandstrom, Achenbach on the bench. We don't have anybody. Hugo Janssen's got an injury, so Yolali's going to have to go the distance, or we're way in trouble. Hassan, because he can play midfield. And DM. Hall. Klein because he could play any up and down and lap a line because he's in good form. He's on a seven four six. He's better than a Wilson from a form standpoint. Although, you know, it's not exactly like he's been playing in the Champions League. So our uh, our youth team, like the U nineteens, played in the whatever UEFA Youth League, and uh, our new signing Tony Scorup had a hat trick against Leverkusen's U nineteens, and we lost four three. Of course we did. He's like, boys, I I scored a hat trick. Come on. Um, we have a chance to... So, go out... Uh, uh, yes. Great. We've stressed out our strikers. Vukovic. Mate, I believe in you. Now he's confused. I expect nothing less, and I believe in you. Huh? Like, what is... I think we'll be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, sure. Do I even have my... Yeah, I guess I could put my earbuds in. I don't know if I have it on. I think we'll just do key highlights here rather than... Just to make it not a 50-minute episode. There is a chance. There is a chance, but I'm not I'm not thinking. It's it's looking too, too good here. Okay, Se Sevilla beat Sporting, is that... Or are they beating Sporting? Let's... let's Let's look at the scores in a minute. We're playing defensive. We don't even have the ball. It's like, that's that's not good. Yeah, let's retain. Yeah, sure. <laughs> let's retain possession. Let's just really frustrate them. Clo They're playing a 4-4-2. That, I don't know. Did they play that the last time? I'm not recalling that. But All we need is one goal and then them to have seven injuries for us to have a chance. Bugievich is dropping, dropping. Roberto, strike force not playing the best. <clears throat> T 
two injuries. Ooh. Okay. Lovely. So they're still playing. Um, you're, yes, excellent. Nervous smile. You'd think Leverkusen will be going for the win here. Like, should we go counter? <laughs> oh, you lolly. Great job. Let's demand some more. Come on, strikers. You're killing me. Um, Erickson's playing well in that newish role. I know it's saying we need to connect the midfield. I just missed something, some highlight here. Or to say our tackling would be a disappointment as an understatement. I mean, is it really? I think uh, we need to win, so let's risk it. Question mark. Actually, you can play attacking midfielder. Let's exploit the flanks on the counter. Let's stop hitting the early crosses. We gotta, we gotta open up a little bit. I guess is my thinking here. And we'll go flexible. We're gonna concede four, but you know we gotta win. So come on, boys. Anybody? No highlights. We're not gonna get a single highlight in this game. For us, he says. Jung, just get in there, start the counter. Oh, that was, that was, that was poor. <laughs> um, Roberto, yeah, you're not, you're not doing, I mean, he's come back from injury, so, you know, he can get a pass, I guess. Uh, everyone else is playing okay, minus Vukovic, but we, you know, it's not like we have another striker available, so. Demand more, lads. They're nervous. We, we have to go for it. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, lads. This is a mistake. But who cares? Like, we, we have got to get to goal. So we'll take all this stuff off, stick to positions, still get stuck in. Stop being disciplined. That makes sense. Come up a little bit higher. We're going to get exploited on the counter. No, we're, we're going to go all the way, my friends. Prevent the short goal kick distribution. Good luck. I don't think there's a need to substitute anybody in. It's not like they're playing poorly. You know, they're not playing great, you know, but they're not playing poorly. <clears throat> we'll stick three at the back. I'm not going to go two at the back. That was so poor. Nobody there. Garincer. Don't get dispossessed, mate. There you go. He's offside. Surely he's offside. Oh, Lapalainen, you were there, mate. You were there. It was for the taking. Oh, it's pouring down rain. Headed on. We don't win the second ball. We win the third ball, though. Ing. Let's get some excitement back in my commentary. Lapa Linen, what are you doing? It's a wet ball, he says. Oh, uh, boss. Uh, there you go. The counter. Vukovic, run faster with your old Serbian legs. Come on, boys. We keep winning the ball. Lapa Linen makes a run, but he's not there. What is it? Do we not have the right cleats to run in mud? Like, is it because it's wet? No. Erickson decided not to chase that ball. That's good. Oh, that looked like two chances where it looked like it was going to turn out to be our highlight. And instead, it's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he just stands there! What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? He just stood there. Oh, man. He just, he just straight up just stood there. Um... It's kind of amazing. <laughs> he just stood there. Oh, man. Uh, I can't remember what foot Dreesen has. He's right foot eh, and Hall is left foot eh. We're going to put you in whatever role. You be a roaming player. You roam all you want, mate. And you go back to being box to box. Oh. I, I mean, again. Well, there, there actually is probably no point in showing you the second game, really. Does it really matter? No. 
If he doesn't, pump the ball in the box. Now, let's just go overload. The two, 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 my friends. It's a thing of beauty. Uh... Yeah, that's what we'll go with, I guess. I can't believe how poor that whole highlight was. Like, the whole highlight. We didn't chase after anything. And then our goalkeeper just stood there and watched it come hit him, hit the back of his net. Cross dev. Here we go. Okay, that was a tad ambitious. Because if, if we don't at least draw, we're 100% out. No, we if they've got eight points, we wouldn't be able to catch them. So we have to win. We have to score two goals, my friends. Let's go. No, no, no. A draw, that would drop them down to six points. We theoretically somehow be in it i think unless the sorting rules includes which i think it does uh you know uh results against the team you're tied with so even if we won the next game by like 10 we'd, we'd i think be out so let's go get two goals lads please this is the start of our counter right here there we go hall you got lots of you got lots of space, but okay, you hit the attacking midfielder. Oh, good. I mean, that was that was good, good tackle. To be fair, if we score two goals here, I will. I don't know what I'll say. Oh, I thought I thought that was it. I thought that was going to be a wonder goal, the comeback of the year. You know, we get the win. We're on five points. They're on five points. We're on to the next round. Bogujevic, space, cut back! Oh, it deflects it! <laughs> that looks really choppy. Come on, boys, push forward! <laughs> You're saying there's a chance? <laughs> oh, we're gonna watch this runs from long ball forward to Bogujevic. The cutback, I, I I like the cutback. He, he draws on the fender, and then I, I thought the pass could have been better, but it deflects, and then ing, and then the goalkeeper is already in the air. Not really his fault to stop that because of the deflection. Come on. Oh, just enough of a glimmer of hope. Okay, we do have six points. No, no, they have six points. And we have three, so we'd have to win the next game. Oh, what the heck? We might as well show it to you, right? Oh, cross it. Come on, ref, give us enough time. Oh, you guys gotta ping it home. You gotta can't be flicking it around like that. Oh man, I'm gonna say great job. Uh oh, I thought that was it. I thought that one goal, the laser beam goal. I thought that was it, and we're knocked out. So yeah, it it doesn't make. Yeah, it's the sorting rules, I guess. Right, we yeah. Boy. <laughs> oh man, that's that's disappointing. At least we got the five hundred grand. Um I, I I I'm gonna go now and we have to figure out what we do in mid tenon. Because he's sweet. I, I need to go look at the squad. His contract is up tomorrow. So do we offer him a contract as a backup or do we go find somebody else? Like if you look at, okay, let's just look at it this way. Highest current ability players. Let's count 11 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay. One homegrown nation player, Swedish. Okay. Let's do seven more to get the, the, the match day squad, right? The 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four. So we have a problem next season where if we go back to our traditional four, three, one, two. Okay. Let's put Hassan in and uh, Castrati, even though he's injured. Crash Seth runs from Grincer. Those are supposed to be switched. 
Yulali, Roberto Vukievich, and Erickson, okay? Um, and then let's pick our typical backups here. So Hugo Janssen's been a backup. Makura has been a backup. Um, Johansson's been a backup. And then, it's str I mean, we got midfield and striker to watch. So, like, Dreesen is really good. We And then we've got, I mean, Vaca's probably going to be starting in here for Garincer, maybe. Or maybe we play three at the back. You know, like, Skorup is definitely, you know, striker option. And then what are you going to do? Langa is also there. Like, I kind of feel like we need to keep Matenin so we can have another... You know, if we just counted here, like even if we put Brandstrom here as another midfield option, that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one of the like one of the slots somewhere has to become a homegrown nation player for Sweden, and that would currently mean we have to bring on Lapalainen, which I, I like the idea of that. So maybe he's the option instead of Matenum. We just let him go. Uh, Bilal Yamaz, I was going to let go because he's not up to the same level, but he's Swedish, so he could rotate in. And we're still leaving on the bench. Or, or Druj, I guess. He's an attacking midfielder option. But, you know, like, we, we have a bit of a problem here because that leaves us uh, Klein on the bench, Curtis Hall on the bench, Vaka, Novak I've loaned out because of all the changes, Langa, and Aloilson. So I guess Matenin could go because we got Lapa Line and he'll just bump up. But it still becomes a problem on the match day squad in terms of like, okay, so how do we get eight players or nine players in here that are homegrown nation? Because um, it's striker is our problem, and that's my fault in a good way, right? Vukovic and Roberto. Vukovic maybe goes, I mean, but he's still quite good. He could go to like a rotation option. But Roberto Vukovic score up, who looks amazing. Um, and then Langa. That's four players right there that could all or should all be starting. He's on a rotation contract, so they, whatever. Um, should at least be on the bench or in the match day squad. Four players, not homegrown nation. So how do we fix that? I need to go figure that out. Next time when we come back, we are going to, unless I change my mind, we're just going to wrap up the end of the season and we'll take a look at uh, the end of the journeyman. That's just where my head's at right now. Um, but let me know what you think. If, if we get a convincing argument in the comments, we we could potentially stay on. I, I do wish I could see how, how this kid does. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. He's a ma Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. That's what we'll do there. Check out this stuff over here. This has been a random episode. I know it's kind of all over the place. Hopefully you understand why. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.